Hey folks, this is Fat Guy Flies RC. This is the FMS um, Kingfisher. And uh, it's a great flying plane. Now this originally came with the, the uh, reflex system, but I'll be honest, it is such a stable flying plane that I removed the, the reflex system and the only thing it's got now is, the, is an AR620 antenna spectrum receiver. Um, an interesting little note about this plane is, can you see in the cab here? Is there's actually a shelf up here what makes a perfect spot for you to put your receiver. And they had the reflex on one side and I have my AR620 mounted right there on the side. And I've got a Hobby Star 2700 3S. Now, when you put the battery hatch back on, make sure that you hear that latch click back in. I do have the easy lights attached to it, but it's bright enough. I'm not going to use them right now. And a later flight, later on this evening, I'll, I'll turn them on then. But I still haven't gotten around to change. That's one drawback. This is an amazing plane. Well designed. Very easy to put together. Basically, she just snaps together. And, um, but these, heart, these wheels are, you could chip a tooth on those wheels. But <laughs> that's the only drawback. Very hard wheels. I'm going to eventually switch those out with some timber tires from, e, from an E-Flight timber. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down le elevator, right rudder, left rudder, and i am got a six minute timer. My rates, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 100% throws over 30% expo all the way around. I do have a flap to elevator mix, and uh, to show you the, honey, I'll need, uh, Precious, if you don't mind, focus in on the flaps. Um, that is takeoff flaps, which are on a spectrum, or a 100% a with a 20% down um, elevator mix. And then for landing flaps, that is a 100%, positive 100%, with a 30% down elevator mix. And then, of course, flaps up are negative 100% with no mix. So, timer is set for six minutes. All right. She's a tail dragger, but she actually tracks quite well on the ground. So I say that and watch her be all kinds of squirrely. All right, right, left, up, down, right, left. Got just a breath of wind, but we'll still use the takeoff flaps. And see, look at that. Took her up, didn't even have to use any elevator to uh, get her to come off the ground. She could use just a touch of up trim. Not bad. Cruise along about half throttle right now. Being very happy. Very happy plane. I'm gonna take her up. There you go. We're about towards the highway. We're going to bring her right down the runway. Just as low, low and slow. Low and slow. Now I know I can go a whole lot lower than that. As you can see, she's a great trainer. Great trainer bird, high wing, very predictable. A great um, contender for to fight with the uh, against the the uh, timber. Great alternative to the timber. But she's also got plenty of power. And like I say, she's got no kind of gyro or stabilization of any type. Landing flaps. Just the AR620. Which I is probably one of my favorite receivers. 
They're walking the dog a little bit. <laughs> Flaps up. Oh, he's landing the other direction here. This will be with the wind. No flaps. And you can see how long I'm, I'm out of the power. And it took almost the whole runway to slow her down. But let's do a, another landing like that with no flaps again. And with the wind though, and you can see how much shorter that landing will be because I'm going with the wind. There's just a little bit of wind, but it doesn't take much to slow this plane down. I really, if you're looking to uh, try your hand at a high wing plane and, and try to go without a gyro, as you can see, she slowed down and landed half the length. All right. Do our takeoff flaps again. Take flaps. She bounces right up in the air. And she fell out. I'm going to try to see if I can hover her a little bit. Yeah. Landing flaps. All right, we'll do our landing flaps this time. Land in the grass. Flaps up. Time remaining, three minutes. Very stable plane. A lot of fun to fly. Alright, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to turn around. And we're going to come right down the runway full speed with the wind. Now let's do that again. I kind of hit the elevator too soon. There we go. So she's not a slouch. Definitely not a slouch. Back out towards the highway. Time remaining, two minutes. Landing flaps. All right. Now, they, if she didn't have such bumpy tires or such Flat hard flat. tires, she would wouldn't have quite so much bounce. All right, I'm gonna take off again. Now, do need to stay on that rudder. A little bit of a knife edge here. Alright. Landing flaps. Just a good flying plane. I mean you just you can't go wrong with a kingfisher. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to go out here to the grass, put it in, the, in a stole environment in the grass, bush plane. Gets right even with us. We're going to drop them flaps all the way down, and I'm going to goose it. Take off flaps. How much she take off? What, three, four feet maybe? 
<laughs> so that's very much a stole takeoff. Short takeoff or landing. That's what that stands for. Landing flaps. Tail's not Seven touching. One Tail never Nine touched. Stop. That's called walking the dog here. Easier to do in the grass. Let's see if we can do that on a runway. Them wind wheels are so hard though. Ah. Flaps up. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of it. A little bit of a touch and go. All right, I'm going to blank, 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 bang. I'm going to bring the plane right at us, very close to us. Seven, six, five. Real close five, flyby. Three, two, one. Time expired. All right, time's expired. I'm over six minutes now, so definitely want to land her. Landing flaps. All right. Flaps. All right. Motor off. Motor off. I'm nine seconds over on a six minute timer that's a pretty decent flight and i'll be all right have a look at the plane don't have telemetry i'm going to say 30 to 35 percent left on the 2700 battery slightly warm very very strong strap. Battery slightly warm. Ha! 37%. Pretty close. Not bad. Full six minutes. A lot of landings and takeoffs. A lot of power moves. So, yeah. Um, good flying plane. I could have got a good seven minutes and come, probably came back at about 20%, which had been acceptable. You really, when you get a new battery in the mail, lots of times they're at 14%. Um, but I like to keep my batteries no, when I fly them, I don't want them getting lower than 20% if I can help it. I like them being anywhere between 25 to 35, that, that area there. That's a good storage rate. So, all right, well, let's just put the battery back in there for storage. Let me show you this beautiful bird. When I first got, first saw the fish, uh, the kingfisher, um, to me, I got paint chip, uh, water-based paint. So I haven't done the uh, treatment on this plane yet, which, which is the uh, polyacrylic. I need to, because anytime you have water-based paint, it chips so easily. Like right there on the battery hatch, it's already starting to chip. Um, but isn't that a good looking plane? That's the Kingfisher from FMS. And uh, just, just a really, oh, my wire's coming. Now, see, things like this are going to happen. See the wire hanging out here? That is the wire for the aileron. It has just worked its way by vibration out of that channel. I can just shove that back in there. But take your finger and, and some of that rubber cement, like um, hold the foam or a foam tack and just take your finger and just rub a little bit of that glue back in there and that won't come out for you. Or you can put clear packing tape on there if you want. That's fine. Um, the plane does feature a area here you can get a servo in there and put there that comes with the hardware for a tow cable mount so you could uh, to, uh, tow a small glider um, behind you. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, ESC is right up here. I don't know. I'd have to look on the, you can look at the manual for uh, the size of the motor and the prop and all that, but it's just a good solid plane. The Kingfisher has been around for quite a while. It's one of FMS's um, now older planes. It would be nice if they came out maybe with a newer version that had uh, lights and uh, maybe a clear canopy but and softer tires. But if they came out with a new one, my my what I would ask for in a new Kingfisher would be softer tires, maybe the pneumatic tires like they put on the uh, PA18 1300 millimeter. Um, 4S capable and a clear canopy and oh or lights I'll, I'll I'll forego the clear canopy if they'll give me a, a, an array of lights that would be awesome um, but you know I've added the easy lights which I don't have on right now but just a solid plane I highly recommend it now you can get this at Hobby Zone um, I'll put a link to the purchase price or the purchase of this plane as of right now, here it is late September, middle of September of 23. As of right now, they're sold out at Hobby Zone of the Kingfisher. But they're going to get more in. Christmas is coming up. They're going to really stock up. You can catch yourself a deal. And if they don't necessarily have a deal, you can use my deal. If you buy it from Hobby Zone using the link and you go in there and you put all caps, FGFRC, Fat Guy Flies RC, FGFRC. Put that in the coupon field of where you purchase. You'll see off to the right. You put that in there, you can take $10 off the price. I mean, it helps me out. You get to save a little bit of money and you get an awesome plane. So it's all a win win situation. Um, I highly, now, like I say, it does come with the a, a Reflex um, Gyro, which has self level. Um, wind mitigation and then no gyro at all and you pair that with an AR620 and you've got a great beginner plane and then you can turn the gyro off or just have just the AS3X and now you've got yourself a nice uh, more a more plane that appeals to the more advanced pilots. It's just a good solid all-around plane. I, I really recommend it if you decide you just you know, the timber on E-Flight is just too much. The TiVo timber or the Evolution is just too much. This is a great alternative. This is a great alternative. It flies very similar, has a pr pretty much the same power to weight ratio. And if in 3S, in the 3S, if they came out with this in a 4S, I think it would beat the timber. Honestly, it would. No glue assembly. Everything pops in together. It's just a great plane. I can't, I, the only thing, tire is the only thing negative I can say about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. Big out shout out for Hobby Zone for sponsoring my channel. Um, this plane they didn't sponsor. This one I bought, um, but still I recommend it. I mean, it, it, even though I, you know, it doesn't matter. If a plane is a pile of crap, I'm going to say it's a pile of crap. But I'll tell you why. If the plane is great, I'll tell you why I think it's great. Just like I've done with this one. I didn't like the color scheme when I first saw it. I thought it looked cartoonish, but I'll tell you, it's grown on me. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.